Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here. Your continued love and support here on the channel. For those of you that would like to book a private reading with me, you can find my email down below in the description box or you can send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other uh, services with me. For those of you that are feeling called to donate to the channel, I do have my PayPal, my Cash App, my Amazon wishlist, and you can also donate directly through uh, YouTube using the Super Thanks button, which is located right beneath the video. It's a little heart with a dollar sign um, in it. Um, so if you're feeling called to do that, um, you have those options uh, that are there. Uh, so today's pick a card reading, we are doing... Um, their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you, okay? So this is the person that you do have uh, on your mind. If you want to use this reading, uh, say for multiple people, uh, no judgment, <laughs> you're more than welcome to do that. Um, and just kind of choose a different pile for a different person. But we're looking into what are their secret feelings and their hidden thoughts about you. Um, we are going to be using message cards today, so I do want you to keep in mind because we are using those. Take what resonates and, and and really kind of feels right for what your situation is with your person. Do understand that this is a general reading, so not all the messages that come through may resonate for you or may feel like they are accurate for whatever your situation is that's going on. Um, please always be discerning when you are watching any type of, of, of a general pick a card reading on YouTube, no matter who the reader is, um, so that you are, you know, making sure that you are choosing, you know, the right pile that is accurate to what your situation is uh, with that person, which is making me feel I might kind of do a little bit of an energy check uh, before we get into your specific you know, secret feelings and hidden thoughts so that you make sure that you have the right pile. I might do that. Okay. Um, if you feel like the pile that you choose doesn't really resonate, you're more than welcome to choose a different pile, or you can check out one of the other readings that I do have in the pick a card playlist. Or, uh, if you want something more personal for you specifically, just your energy and your situation, again, you can find my email in the description box uh, so we can do a private reading for you. Okay, so pile number one, we are going to do this card here, which is this crystal is actually garnet. Okay, so that's gonna be garnet for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be desert rose. And pile number three, we have this piece of agate. Okay, so pause the video if you need a little bit more time to meditate on the little crystal cards here. Um, for those of you that are wanting to know what tarot and oracle decks I'm using, I always list them in the description box for you guys um, that I split them out between the tarot and the oracle cards uh, for those of you that are wanting to purchase the decks for yourself. Okay, so pile one with garnet, pile two with desert rose, pile three with agate. Their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you. Hi, Pile One. So those of you that resonated with the Garnet card, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out what their secret feelings and hidden thoughts are about you. Uh, as I said in the intro, I want to get a little bit of an energy check just so you make sure that you have chosen the right pile to get the right messages. Um, as I said, please be discerning with general readings. Um, if it doesn't really fit or makes you feel confused, uh, when the message comes through, then it's probably not for you. Okay, leave that for somebody else that's watching and it does resonate for them. Um, like I said, if it totally doesn't resonate at all, um, choose a different pile or uh, check out one of the other readings, okay, that I do have available. So let's kind of see what is going on here. A little bit of an energy check to see, okay. 
what is the situation spirit what is the situation for pile one and their person what is the current energy in pile number one's situation with their person what is the current energy here we have a letter it says a message or contact from your love is on the way so maybe for some of you you could be okay so we have frigidity here this almost makes me feel that those of you that chose this pile um this could be a no contact situation um, you could be mm, dealing with a person who is maybe a little bit withdrawn from you or a lot, no contact altogether. Um, you could be maybe have sent a message to them and are waiting for them to respond. Um, or they could have you they could have messaged you and you have taken some time to respond to them. Okay, it could even be a situation that has kind of gone cold or maybe nothing, not a whole lot is happening here. So what is the energy in pile number ones? It might also be a situation where you're dealing with a person who's um, been a little bit closed off in terms of expressing something to you, okay? Even if you're actively talking to the person, you could be waiting for them to kind of open up and say something, okay? It could be a person who's closed off, guarded. What is the current energy? We have spiritual here. Okay. So those of you that might feel that you have a very spiritual connection with this person, or it may even be symbolize maybe a person who is spiritual or religious, something of that nature. Okay. And then we also have a choice here. Okay. So that may resonate for some of you as well. We have a choice between two. It says your heart already whispers the answer, listen. So this might even be for some of you in a third party situation. Okay, I am seeing romance at the bottom. So there could be romantic feelings that you and this person have towards each other, have had towards each other. We have heartache here. Um, and it says pain and distress will only come from this love. Best protect your heart. So it may even be a person who is very closed off, who's afraid of getting hurt um, there could have been a breakup between you and this person or separation even that might be present. Some of you might be in a third party situation. Um, there could be religion or cultural differences here. Um, this choice here may even be a person who has to make a choice between you and another person. Or it could be that the whole third party energy is not a person, but it could be family, uh, work, some type of situation like that. Okay, so if this does not resonate for you, you might want to choose one of the other piles. Okay, so I'm going to clear this away and we're going to look at what this person's secret feelings are towards you uh, and their hidden thoughts about you. We're going to pull some tarot. So what are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? I almost feel, where did I put them? I feel like I want to keep these out. Yeah, maybe this is, we have your relationship moves to the next stage of love and unity with commitment. Message here again, divine time. Okay, so let's just put these over here. Mm. We'll put these over here and let's pull the tarot. What are the secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? You might even be the person who is having, you know, the third party might be on your side where you're having to make a choice, okay, between this person and someone else. So take it how it resonates. What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? We have the tower. Okay. The tower. What are the secret feelings and hidden thoughts? We have the three of pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. 
We have the Queen of Swords. What are their secret feelings? The Nine of Cups. Seven of Wands. And we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this person does have romantic feelings here. I'm seeing the Five of Cups at the bottom, uh, which is about grief, loss, regret, sadness. Some of you might be separated or broken up from this person. Okay, I am seeing the Tower here. Um, so this could have been some type of upheaval that may have happened, challenges that may have come in between you and this person. Um I do feel like if, especially if this person is someone who missed out on an opportunity for you, I'm seeing the Four of Cups is here as well. Okay. The Four of Cups can talk about an indifference or a person who has lost interest or a person who had an opportunity that was there and they didn't take it and they could be now grieving the loss of that. Um, having regret or even guilt over not taking that opportunity. Um, it's really making me feel like this person is someone who is really gaining clarity on their feelings and their heart. We have the Knight of Cups here, which is about romantic feelings that this person does have. Some of you, this person could be like feeling like I'm still in love with you or I'm falling in love with you. Um, I'm seeing this Three of Pentacles energy here and it kind of looks like there's two two people here who are holding or pulling that rope, working together to pull that rope. Um, to me, this is also symbolic. If there is a separation here or a breakup that this person feels that there's still like this tie to you. Okay. I'm also noticing there's a Phoenix here while she's holding this wand the Ace of Wands is about a spark. It's about passion, chemistry. So I do feel like this person feels that there is attraction between you and them. Um, I do feel like this person is wanting to come forward with some type of truth about their feelings, which again, we're talking today about their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you. The Nine of Cups is about happiness and fulfillment and satisfaction. So... You could be someone who does secretly, and this may be something that they, they stay very, mm, not really telling you or not really showing you, uh, is it really about how happy you make them feel, memories, things of that nature. I am feeling that this person has done a lot of inner reflection about what is in their heart, and I do feel like I said they want to come forward to express to you what is in their heart and this could be coming forward to just be vulnerable with you come forward and tell you um that they miss you or that they have regrets here or they may feel like okay i messed up maybe i didn't make the wrong choice again take this how it resonates okay i'm seeing also the page of pentacles is right underneath that uh was underneath that four of cups um page of pentacles it looks like he's kind of holding a key here in his hand um, it looks like he's also reaching down on the ground here. So it makes me feel like this person is someone who is wanting to start over or maybe even for some of you wanting a second chance. Okay. They might be feeling a little bit unhappy with the way that things are between the two of you right now. Perhaps some of you could have even uh, been in a situation where you... We're really trying to open yourself up to this person and they may have been going through some type of grief that has nothing to do with you um, where where they may have closed themselves off. OK, they could be going through something personal here, but I feel like this person does have these feelings that are here. Like I said, some of you, this is like falling in love or being in love or still loving you. OK, so take that how it resonates here. I'm also seeing the Ten of Swords and the Fool is here as well. Ten of Swords. Let me put these down. Ten of Swords, the Fool, and also the World is here. Yeah, so we have an ending here. 
and a new beginning. I'm noticing in this world card here too, um, there is a, a little, uh, you know, baby here. And I'm noticing how this eye is kind of looking through um, this infinity symbol, almost like this. It almost kind of makes me feel with this eye that's here, that this person, if, if this is a situation that is past, it almost kind of makes me feel like this person is not over you and they're wanting to take, you know, take some type of leap of faith here. I'm seeing the Ten of Swords here and this person is kind of like on this pathway with all these swords and there's another person that's here. You know, so this could have been a very painful ending that you've gone through with this person. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of makes me feel that this person is wanting to express to you what is what is truly in their heart here. I, and I'm seeing also the Eight of Cups and the High Priestess. So even though there could be detachment or withdrawal here, um, I do feel like this person does feel a very spiritual connection to you. And that was something that came up over here too. This person has dreams about you. And I feel like in the dreams, we've got the six of pentacles here and the three of wands. It makes me feel like this person is someone who does miss you. They're, the three of wands energy is about anticipation and waiting for something, longing for something. This person could have dreams about the two of you guys being reunited with each other. Or maybe even coming into union for the first time. For some of you, I feel like this person has a painful memory about you walking away from them. Like giving up or letting go. And especially for those of you where you could have been, you know, putting yourself out there for this person and this person was not interested or they were just kind of turning you down. I, I am seeing rejection that's here. I feel like this person is wanting to come in to kind of uh, make things right. Okay. Between the two of you. Okay, so let's pull some more uh, oracle cards here and see what else is happening. Uh, we do have Aquarius energy here, Aries, Scorpio. We also have Air Sign, uh, Gemini, Libra as well, Taurus. Um, okay. Virgo, Capricorn. What are the secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? We have reinvention here. It almost makes me feel like this person is someone who maybe have really worked on themselves or really worked on changing. Um, kind of like a new version of themselves that they are wanting to show you. Maybe self-improvement. Okay, is, is kind of what I'm getting here, reinventing themselves or reinventing, in a sense, your connection here. Let's see what else. What are their secret feelings? And, and they may also be, especially if there's been like a no contact, you may have also been someone who has kind of reinvented yourself where you are a completely different person now. And that may be something that they're like, whoa, I messed up here. I didn't see what I had right, right while it was in front of me. What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? Fear. Okay. We also have divine timing. Recognition. Okay. And then we have ascending here. So again, it kind of makes me feel like this person... And you guys also chose Garnet here. Garnet is connected to the sacral chakra, which is a lot of very passionate energy. Um, I'm feeling that this person, if they haven't before, there is recognition, I feel like, on a soul level um, between you and them. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing inner child at the bottom. So this may even be a situation. Yeah, look at that. We've got regret here. Um, this may even be a situation here where they may have allowed their inner child, um, 
wounds there to be something that maybe have gotten in the way or is creating issues currently if you're it's a, if this is a present situation um i'm seeing release here at the bottom so they could even be having regrets for for letting you go it makes me kind of feel like this person is having a hard time letting go as well here too this ascending here kind of makes me feel like this person is, is feeling very drawn to you, a, a very strong pull towards you. Um, okay, what do I want to do? I'm also seeing purge and cycles here at the bottom. So be a lot of releasing, a lot of clearing of things. They could really be kind of going over a lot. Could have been self-worth issues or even... Yeah, we've got shadow work here. Action and observer. So some of you, this person could be spying on you, trying to think about when or planning, you know, to make some type of a move here. Okay, let's see what else. What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about pile number one? Okay, I'm going to have to cover up this one a little bit. So we've got fed, fed the F up here, and it says walking away dissatisfied, annoyed, and upset. So it could have been this person who walked away or you who has walked away. Someone may have done that, got fed up with something. And then we have chaos here. We started off with the tower. It says disorder, conflicts, messy situations, utter lack of control. Okay, now this chaos could have been something that happened between you and them. It may also be chaos that was going on in this person's personal life. Um, or even chaos that may have been happening, you know, between you and them. You know, especially for those of you where this is like a third party situation. Um, things could have been very chaotic. Um in that as well. Hold on, guys. I want to have candles for you guys because two of them already went out. This thing is being difficult. Okay. Let's pull one more. We have, ooh, manifesting here. It says calling in your soulmate and casting spells. And I'm seeing rings here. Union, commitment, everlasting love, and an eternal promise. Interesting, because we've got rings here, and then we have commitment here. So we're looking today at what this person's secret feelings and hidden thoughts are about you. So it kind of makes me feel like this person is trying to manifest union, manifest a commitment with you, or this is kind of what they, you know, kind of secretly say, uh, think about. Okay. We have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, breakup, separation, and feeling lost. This person might also see you as their soulmate here. Okay. Cause we do have recognition there. I, I feel like I want to clarify that a little bit. What is their, it could be recognition of their feelings, recognition of your connection with each other. So let's, let's do that. What is this recognition of spirit? What is Pell number one's person having recognition of? The nine of pentacles. The four of pentacles in reverse. The King of Cups and the Emperor. Well, first off here with that Four of Pentacles in reverse, this is instability and also Queen of Cups is here too. This is loss here. So it makes me feel like those of you that have chose this pile... This person could, like I said, this could be something you're currently experiencing right now with this person where they, you know, this person is a little withdrawn and they're not speaking up on, 
you know, taking your connection to the next level and they secretly do think about it. They feel that there's a connection here. We have both the King and the Queen of Cups here, which could very well be soulmate energy for some of you. Um, this is about independence, that Nine of Pentacles. So maybe if this person is spending time alone or they are single, have chosen to be single, they have lost you or there's a fear of loss here. Um, I feel like this person, there's recognition here of how deep their feelings actually are. And about, I feel like, what actions they're going to take here. I do feel like this person feels there's a very strong connection a very strong uh, soul connection, emotional bond, emotional connection that's here. Okay. Between, oops. Between the two of you. Okay. So now let's pull these message cards. And like I said, when we're doing these cards, please make sure that you use your own discernment. Okay. With whatever your situation is. Okay, let's see. What are those secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? Secret feelings and hidden thoughts. We have, I'm waiting for your signs to take action. So, your signs. Maybe this means you opening up, you talking to them, you making the first move, you breaking the ice. Um, they could also be someone who's kind of feeding off of your energy to see, like, are they even interested in me? Uh, especially if this is a past person, past connection. And if you're not talking to them at all and you don't even have anything to do with them anymore, they still have these feelings here. So it kind of makes me feel like they're thinking, like, is, is it even worth it for me to reach out? Like, should I wait for to see something from you and your side to see if you even still want this. Okay, so again, take this how it resonates. I'm waiting for your signs to take action. What are those secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? We have, you are, look at that. <laughs> you are definitely my soulmate. We have, I want to run into your arms and just be honest about my feelings. I'm ready to make things work with us. We also have, I can't see anything I don't like about you. Makes me feel like this person is kind of smitten. Okay, what else? What are their current or their secret feelings and hidden thoughts? It says, I think I'd miss you even if we'd never met. Their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you. We have so much chemistry. Ooh, wow. <laughs> I saw my unborn children in your eyes. And we have, you are so attractive and beautiful to me. Wow, so romantic. Okay, bottom of the deck we have, I want to commit to you. Okay. And I'm also seeing together we can grow into who we are meant to be. And I wish I could give you more. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave it here for you, pile number one. I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you did, you know, you do have another person to look into, um, you can, you know, choose one of the other piles. I'll see you there. Other than that, I hope this reading was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonate with the Desert Rose, uh, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out... What are your person's secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? Before we get into your reading, we are going to do a little bit of an energy check to make sure that you have chosen the right pile 
So we make sure that you get the right messages, okay? So if this part of the reading doesn't really resonate to what your situation is, I would suggest choosing a different pile. Um, or you can check out one of the other readings that I do have available in the playlist. Or you can reach out to me for a, a personal reading. So pile number two. Let's see. What is the situation, spirit? What is the situation? Current energy in pile two's connection with their person. What is going on here? We have admirer. We have a carnival. We have romance. And we have trapped. Okay. And then we have destiny point at the bottom. It says, which path will you take? Follow your dreams or stay in the comfort zone? So this makes me feel, and also you guys chose desert rose here. This is connected to the crown chakra. Okay. So this energy here makes me feel that for those of you, I feel like that this pile is going to resonate for is for those of you that are in situations where there is unspoken feelings. Okay. And with the admirer here and trapped, it makes me feel that either you or the other person are not telling the other how you feel. You're kind of keeping things to yourself or you could be dealing with a person who is not expressing, not coming forward. They could be holding back. They could be closed off. And I feel like it's kind of leaving your connection in a place where it's literally going in circles because we have carnival here. This is a carousel that goes around and around and around. So there could be romantic feelings that you guys have towards each other. Um, we have admire here. So it may even be a crush situation for some of you. Where uh, things are kind of blocked, I would say, from, from taking that next step or for, from progressing any further right now. Okay? You could have someone who's holding back from taking that next step. They could be all in their head about this, or both of you could even be having dreams, um, being that this is the crown chakra here. Maybe you guys are kind of connecting in the 5D, um, having dreams about each other, feeling each other's energy, each other's presence, things of that nature, okay? We also have closeness here. It says you and me, the bond between you creates a special understanding. So it may even be that you guys feel close to each other. You guys feel that there's a bond there, but nobody's saying anything. Kind of keeping things hidden away. Yeah, so it kind of makes me feel like unspoken here. Um, we have time, and it says divine timing is bringing you together. I think that should say you together. True love is timeless. And then we also have meditation here. Quiet reflection allows you to discover the soul answers that you seek. So some of you guys might even be connecting with this person during your meditation. Or if you don't meditate and you just kind of like spacey and kind of daydream, you might kind of feel like I, I feel so connected to this person. Okay, so that is the energy that's here in this pile. If this situation does not resonate for you, please choose another one. Okay, so I'm going to put these off to the side and let's actually save these two because we have to refer back to them okay let's see pile two What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? Yeah, some of you, this might even be like a super new connection because I did see new love. Um, admire here. Could be crushing on each other. Some type of new love situation. Okay, so what are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? Let's 
What are those secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you, Pile 2? We have the Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. Okay. Mm, the Moon in Reverse. The Three of Swords. Why is that here? Page of Swords. Queen of Wands. Five of Wands. And the Four of Cups. What? Ooh. Okay. Two of Cups is at the bottom. Look at that. This is what we just had in here. This being trapped. This He's like literally looking at that butterfly that's in the jar. And we have this butterfly that's in the jar too. Okay. Okay. So we have the two of cups as the overall energy here. So I do feel like this person does feel that there is a, a strong emotional bond and connection. I do feel like there's mutual feelings that are here. Okay. I feel like this person is struggling with coming forward with expressing. Okay. Expressing that to you. Um, Kind of wanting to to really open up here because I'm seeing the moon energy in reverse, which is could be about illuminating something. And the moon can talk about suppressing feelings, emotions, keeping them hidden, concealed. And the moon can also bring in a very deceptive energy. So some of you, it might appear that this person is like not interested at all with this four of cups, you might even be feeling like mixed signals with this person. Like, are they attracted to me? Do they like me? Do they not like me? Um, and I, and I feel like they do. Okay. I do feel like this person feels that there is a very intense, passionate connection between the two of you. There is a bond here. It is mutual. I feel like this person is struggling with some type of emotional turmoil. They could be trying to get past certain fears or insecurities or anxiety doubts that they have in their own mind being that we have the five of swords here it could even be a person that has like self-sabotaging thoughts um that this person might also feel like you are too good for them like you are way too attractive way too beautiful and they could be kind of um feeling not good enough for you kind of talking themselves out of it because they this person could be someone who does fear rejection okay yeah, we've got both the Empress and the Queen of Wands here. And both of these energies are kind of like high on a kind of like high on a pedestal. So this person might feel like you literally are way too attractive. Not that that's a problem, <laughs> but um, this person might have their own insecurities and feeling like they're not good enough. Okay. Um, she kind of looks like she's doing like this quiet little meditation here in front of the fire. It makes me feel like this person feels, and this of course might go into their secret thoughts here, um, or their hidden thoughts. Um, Almost like they feel this intensity, even when you're not around them, they can kind of feel your energy. Looking at this two of cups, they kind of look like they're intertwined with each other. Very close uh, connection. I want to see what this five of wands is here. Now the five of wands can talk about competition, comparison, 
Um, it can also be a little bit of tension, so they might feel there's a little bit of tension between the two of you. Okay, there's definitely a physical attraction here, but I don't feel like that's it. I feel like it's more than that. More than just, you know, like lust or something like that. But there's, they, this person definitely feels that there's tension, okay? Tension. And it may be more or less be about not so much tension like you guys are fighting and arguing, but more or less having to do with the intimate kind. Okay, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to keep it YouTube friendly. That kind of tension because you guys might be very intensely attracted to each other and there could be just like that tension that's there <laughs> between the two of you. Um, okay, let's let's look at this moon energy in reverse. Why is the moon here? The death card. Somebody could be dealing with a Scorpio. We've got Pisces energy here. Cancer. We also have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and also fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Mm-hmm. One more. Why is the moon here? Page of Pentacles. Chariot is at the bottom. Cancer energy. The chariot is about having the willpower to move forward. And I feel like this person does. They think about moving forward with you. They think about really opening up their heart and their feelings here. I feel like this person is actively trying to change this aspect of themselves where they are hmm, keeping feelings and emotions hidden or even trying to change hmm, away from that fear-based thinking. That, that that keeps them keeping their feelings and emotions hidden. So yeah, it kind of gives me this vibe that this person is, is, is kind of like treating things casually, acting like they're not that interested when they really are. And they're kind of going through this emotional turmoil with the intensity of the connection that they feel towards you. Yeah. Some of you, I feel like this person is very curious about you. Like they're wanting to know more. They're wanting to, they may even be somebody who spies on you, who tries to get information or tries to even talk to other people, asking questions about you, trying to get more information, especially if it's like a, like a crush situation. They could be paying attention to you, like watching you, seeing who you talk to, you know, trying to get information that way as well. Hmm. Some of you might be like uh, texting each other, messaging each other back and forth. And I feel like they might even be kind of trying to keep a lot of their, their um, feelings and desires that they have towards you kind of like not revealing them. But I, I feel like they really want to. Okay, let's pull some Oracle and see what else here. Kyle number two, what are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? We have bound here and abandon. Okay, bound and abandon. What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts? We have nostalgia. This person might be some, okay, we have barrier here. This person might be someone who does have abandonment wounds, um, fear of abandonment. And I feel like this is because of past situations. Now, it could be past between you and them, or it could be their past, their romantic past. And there's a blockage here. This bound energy is kind of like the devil energy in the tarot. So it makes me feel like this person could ha very well have a fear of rejection, a fear of abandonment. Um, again, like I was saying earlier, this person could be a little bit feeling like you're like way too attract, like kind of like you're out of their league. So they might already kind of be setting themselves up for failure in terms of their own negative thinking, self-sabotaging thoughts. So kind of like putting up a wall 
a barrier here. Maybe because of something that may, ha may have gone through in the past. We have union here and also ascending. I'm going to cover them up a little bit. Um, it does make me feel like this person does secretly think about the two of you guys being together and your connection moving forward. But there is clearly a blockage that's here. I'm seeing admired here at the bottom. So this person might think like really highly of you. They might like really be, like I said, very drawn to you, very attracted to you. Um, I'm seeing spring and also contemplation here. The spring energy would more or less be about planting the seed or be, or new beginnings here, planting or opening up to something new, contemplating, which is this person more or less thinking, thinking, taking some time to think about that. Let's see. We have forbidden love and it says the connection is discouraged or opposed by others, taboo or even affairs. So some of you that might resonate What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? We have offer here, invitation of love, new love, or even rekindling of an old flame. Okay. And then we have dating, quality time, keeping the relationship alive. So this person might secretly think about or think about um, dating you, coming forward with some type of offer here. Some of you could be, it could be a forbidden love situation you know, and that could be something that's creating a blockage here, but they do think about it. Okay. What are their secret feelings? We also have toxic here and it says drama filled, negative vibes, and also constant fights. Now, some of you, okay, like I said, take it how it resonates, but uh, some of you, this person could have some type of conflict with you. Okay. Especially with the five of wands being here, there could be tension maybe in the, in the way that you guys are having disagreements. Um, if that is the case, especially with this bound here and abandoned, you know, and this is kind of like an ex partner who you're, I don't know, maybe separated from this person could be questioning, you know, is it worth it to try this over again? This person could also be someone who does have some toxic patterns of behavior. Okay. All right. Let's now pull um, these message cards. And again, these are gen this is general reading. Okay. So if it doesn't fit, don't force it to fit your situation. What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about pile number two? Oops. It says, you help me with my healing. I'm grateful. We also have, I want all of you forever. You and me every day. Could be something that they, of course, hidden secret thoughts they have. Okay. What are those secret feelings and hidden thoughts? It says, my decisions are always thinking about our future. And you are a much better person than me. I feel our connection in my soul. My heart is and always will be yours. We have, I catch myself lost in my thoughts about you. I'm not the best with words, but I will express my love for you. I like the way you make me feel. And then at the bottom, we have with you by my side, it's exactly where I want to be. This makes me feel with this person, if they're not so great with their words, which I agree that we have the page of swords energy here, which is not the best at expressing, still learning. Um, this person could be showing you in, in different ways. Okay, different ways, maybe very subtle ways. We also have, I wish I could give you more. 
and I will never forget the first time I saw you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this reading here for you. Pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with the agate, this is going to be your reading today. So we're finding out what are those secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you. Before we get into your reading, we are going to be pulling some cards to see uh, what the energy is to make sure that you have chosen the right pile. So if this, uh, when it comes through, it doesn't really resonate for you, I would suggest choosing one of the other piles so you make sure that you get the right messages. Okay, so what is the situation in pile three's connection? What is the situation in Pile 3's connection? What is the energy here in Pile 3's connection with their person? We have memories coming in in reverse. Interesting. Perspective. We also have self-love coming in in reverse. We have winds of change, improvement breezes into your love situation. Okay, and then the arrow heart, this love takes you in a different direction. Okay, this kind of makes me feel we have falsity here, which basically could be a person who's masking, not revealing their true self here. And that could be, of course, something that's happening on both sides. This almost makes me feel like you were dealing with a connection here where either one of you or both of you are allowing what has happened in your past together or your past before you guys even came together to interfere with your connection. And I, and I feel like with self-love being in reverse that there could be a person... Or again, take this how it resonates. It could be both of you who are doing this. One person, you or them. This makes me feel like there are self-worth issues. Maybe even feelings of unworthiness with love in general. This kind of makes me feel with the perspective here. It reminds me of the hanged man energy in the tarot. And the hanged man is more or less like a state of surrender you know something that's not really progressing or moving forward so it's kind of like this romantic connection or you guys having romantic feelings towards each other and it could be that you guys are going through a whole lot of karmic energy here now it could very well be a karmic relationship or it could in fact be that that two, the two of you are caught up in karmic cycles um, with memories being in reverse it makes me feel like someone is bringing their baggage into the connection that could be interfering and that could be a person who has not let go of past situations that they've gone through and they're allowing that to interfere with the connection here even though there's romantic feelings we have this love takes you in a different direction so it kind of makes me feel like this connection has been something that may have been very triggering for both of you uh kind of illuminating a lot of your triggers and shadows which could be you know very karmic um you could find yourself kind of going through a lot of karmic cycles with this person some of you might even be kind of like a whole off and on thing there could be fighting arguing disagreements um there may even be resentment which is also what your agate is about too but the the agate that you've chosen is about i mean it is connected to the root chakra which is about grounding and about listening to your truth or even speaking your truth. So maybe the two of you have a hard time 
keeping this connection grounded or even grounding the connection in general, meaning keeping it stable, keeping it solid. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the situation that we have here. But we also have winds of change. Improvement breezes into your love situation. So it could be maybe the two of you are, are you know, being more self-aware, being more self-reflective and kind of thinking, okay, what, what do I need to change? How am I approaching this connection or the situation? Especially if you're finding yourself in that karmic, karmic cycles with this person, you could be taking, you know, some time to say, okay, what do I need to change? What do I, what can I work on? How can I, how can we improve? How can we get past this? you know, work on self-love some more, work on healing to help to change or shift perspective about openness to love. We do have falsity here. So it kind of makes me feel like, you know, either one of you or both of you kind of like not revealing your true self. You could be functioning from a place of very karmic energy and that can go into codependency, attachment, obsession, unhealthy patterns of behavior that you might, that either one of you might have. Uh, in your relationship or even not revealing your true self, your true feelings, allowing yourself to open up. We have the death card here and look at that toxic. This connection is unhealthy. You're together out of need or habit. Release it to be free. And engagement. So it could even be that you guys have, I mean, there could be issues surrounding commitment, commitment issues with the person. Um, again, toxic patterns of behavior happening between the two of you or even from their side or just your side because like I said that self-love in reverse it makes me feel like a person who's closing themselves off to love they may be unable to give love or even receive love if they don't first love themselves or if you don't love yourself okay uh, there could be issues with the person who's afraid of being vulnerable afraid of really opening up their heart and and you know, revealing their, their true self here. Okay. So this is the situation that's coming through. Like I said, if it doesn't really resonate, uh, for you, then I would suggest choosing the, one of the other piles here. Okay. We're going to keep these off to the side. Mm, I'm going to put this on top. No karma on top. Let's see what's happening here. Just in case we need to look at those. Okay. Let's see. What are the secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you, Pile 3? What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you, Pile 3? We have the Hanged Man, which is that perspective like I said it reminds me of the hanged man energy where something is just kind of not moving forward the hanged man is also about a change of perspective it can also indicate stagnancy something that's just kind of on pause right now not really you know, moving forward, because this is more or less a card of non-action. Just pausing, reflecting, trying to gain insight, awareness, looking at things, right? And especially if you guys, if there's karmic stuff happening here, you know, both of you can may more or less have an awareness of the cycles that you're in. And, you know, again, how can I change it? How can I fix it? How can we move past this? Because the hangman is about us opening ourselves up to other perspectives versus, you know, being more narrow minded and only seeing something one way. This is us kind of having epiphanies and realizations about different ways of approaching a situation or thinking about a situation or the dynamic that may be happening here. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? We've got the King of Wands. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Justice in Reverse, which is also about karma. Okay. 
So justice in reverse. This is about some type of injustice here. Now, it could have been that this person has wronged you in this in some way or they feel wronged by you. Um, this may also be some type of dispute or argument between the two of you that has been unresolved. The two of you could have treated each other or said certain things to each other um, that were not very nice. Okay, some of you might even have... Yeah, it kind of makes me feel like something that's unresolved here. Some type of injustice that's here. Some of you literally might have ha have been married to this person. There could have be there could be separation or even a divorce here. Um, because I'm seeing the Ten of Cups energy here, she she kind of looks like she's she's got a baby on her back and almost like she's pointing towards this house. All these cups that are leading up to this house, like she's pulling this person here. Hmm. This is almost kind of making me feel like this person is is thinking along the lines of future here. The Ten of Cups is a can be a fa a card of family. Now, if you have like a like a a specific idea about this person being someone that you want to have a long-term relationship with or have a family with or get married to and settle down with. It kind of makes me feel like this person does think about that, but there is an imbalance of energy here. So let's pull a little bit more. And it could be a person who is kind of like not on the same page as you or they're not sure if they want to take that kind of action with pursuing something like that. Indecisive, an indecisive person. Let's see, what are the secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? We've also got Libra energy here. The Three of Wands. Some of you, there might be distance between the two of you. There could be indecision surrounding reconciliation of what they think about. Just kind of waiting to see what happens. We have the Five of Pentacles. This may even be abandonment here. You could have abandoned them. They could have abandoned you. This could be a person who has... You, I mean, some of you might even have each other blocked right now or not talking to each other. Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about planning. It's about choices. And this person here looks like they're kind of looking out I mean, literally, we go from the Two of Wands to the Three of Wands. It makes me feel like this person is undecided about what to do with your connection at this point. Undecided. And this kind of makes me feel like this person could be someone who is withdrawn from you right now, or you've kind of have taken a step back. It does make me feel like this person feels insecure. This energy does tie into the root chakra. There's a lack of stability here. You know, and, and I will say that if you guys are going through with this person a lot of karmic energy, it's like there's no footing there. There's no groundedness to build upon something stable if you guys are caught up in this whole karmic energy you know, so I feel like it could make this person have these thoughts about like, is there is there a future for the two of us? Do I see myself having and planning future and marriage and family and stuff like that if we can't even bring it together here? So I feel like with this three of wands here, it's it's more or less a person who could be thinking about taking that next step or or if they if they want to. 
planning what their next step is. It may, it, again, it kind of makes me feel like this person is indecisive here. Like they're, they're, they could be lacking the confidence, feeling insecure about taking a step with you, whatever that step is. And this to me is like thinking about future. And I feel like this person does. They do think about the future. You know, can I see myself with you? You know, do our do our do our thoughts and feelings align here with us having a future together? The Three of Pentacles is about working with another person, collaborating, working to lay um lay the groundwork for a solid foundation. This isn't stable yet. Okay. This is not stable. You've got the three and the five of pentacles. This is not stable yet. So there is stability issues here. Interesting though. You guys had the root chakra. Which is about groundedness and stability. And this is not stable here. So if we're not stable, how can we have a future together? And it could be that, you know, this is the dynamic that's happening in your connection, that you guys are trying to work together or you have issues with working together to create stability. Or this has nothing to do with you and it's this person who's not even stable and grounded within themselves with thinking about what they want for the future. And are you a part of that? The Justice card in reverse can also talk about imbalances in that ooh, kind of like a one-sided connection where one person is knows what they want. There's a, you know, like she's kind of like pulling this person like, come on, you know, there's a house over here, which the house again is, is stable, solid, solid structure foundation. She's pointing towards that, pulling this person over there. And here we've got this guy who's like looking. So yeah, it kind of makes me feel like one person, I mean, they could be thinking about how you, like if you're wanting something more serious, you're wanting something here. And it makes me feel like this person is not sure. Okay, let's look at this uh, justice card in reverse. Ten of Wands. This person could be feeling really stressed out, overwhelmed. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. So it makes me feel like a person who's like, mm, this person's procrastinating here, hesitating. Holding back. Holding back from moving forward. So feeling like they need to take their time here is what this person is thinking about. So this would be more or less what their hidden thoughts are, right? There's a feeling of insecurity here and not knowing what the future holds, not knowing where this is going. There's this feeling of, I should just wait. Don't rush into this. I do feel with that King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles here that there is this pull towards you that they feel, the attraction, almost like they feel that this is something that they can see themselves doing. They're just unsure about it. Let's clarify that Ten of Cups. We've got Cancer Energy here. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles is about reevaluating and reassessing something. Okay, I do feel like this person does have feelings towards you. But I do feel like this person is feeling a little bit frustrated with where you guys are at right now. And we also have the Four of Pentacles energy, which is the person who is afraid of taking that risk. This is more or less keeping themselves kind of closed. I mean, and there's also a fear of loss here. This person is afraid of losing you. So they might kind of feel like, okay, pile number three wants this future. 
but I'm afraid. This person could be someone who's really afraid of also opening up the, with their feelings and their emotions with you or even about taking that next step. Some of you, there could be a, um, this could be a long distance connection. Okay, a long distance connection, meaning you guys live in two different, two different countries, two different cities or hours away from each other. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this three of wands. Yeah, look at that. Underneath the deck, we have the six of swords and the queen of swords. So there's almost like this detached energy here from this person. Like pulling away from you, detaching from you, because there's, I feel like afraid of, of, taking that next step here. Why is the Three of Wands here? The world, which is... Well, let's see. Why is the Three of Wands here? The Eight of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So this person is thinking about what their options are. I do feel like this person is confused right now over what to do with this, over what to do with this connection. This person is having a hard time letting go of those negative thoughts, keeping themselves trapped in the negative thoughts about things. Um, I want to look at this hanged man and then we're going to move on. Why is the hanged man here? Hmm, Nine of Cups. It, it kind of makes me feel that this person is not sure. That this connection is something that's really going to bring them fulfillment. It, it almost kind of like, how should I rephrase this? Almost like the person has a fear of choosing wrong. Making the wrong choice. Four of Cups. And then I'm seeing the Two of Swords at the bottom, which is indecision. It's kind of like the opportunity is right there in front of their face. Right there in front of their face. I definitely feel like this person feels like they need more time. Okay. Sagittarius. We also have Leo. Scorpio, Aquarius, and uh, Taurus. Okay, so now let's, let's pull some Oracle here. You know, this person might feel like we need healing, we need time, we need to find balance here. We need to resolve our differences. We need to work on ourselves. What are those secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? Pile three. Oh, ascending. Yeah, and I feel like this person does envision themselves, right, in that Ten of Cups energy with you. You guys moving forward, being happy, having a life together, having a future together. We've got stuck here. Winter. So some of you, it could be stuck in this stagnant energy some of you might even be no contact with this person or nothing happening contemplation a person taking time to think here
Okay, let's see what else. What are their secret feelings and hidden thoughts about pile three? We have narcissist here. It says self-absorbed, one-sided, love bombing, and also gaslighting. Okay, now this is a general reading, so I don't really want to kind of go around and say that this person is a narcissist. Okay, everyone has the capability of having narcissistic tendencies at some point in their life. Okay. Um, however, this person could be someone who does gaslight you, love bomb you, or it could be the other way around in which you do the gaslighting. Um, let's see what else. <clears throat> what are those secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? We have considering reaching out here at a distance, withdrawn. So it also kind of makes me feel like maybe this person is thinking about themselves right now. Like, what am I going to do? You know, putting themselves first. We have at a distance, withdrawn, gaining confidence to reach out to you. Okay, it could be something that they're thinking about here or having the feeling about doing. We have the clock here. It says time is of the essence, a window or a time frame an alternative path and it says choose wisely choose wisely so like i was saying earlier i kind of feel like this person has a fear of choosing wrong but undecided about what they're going to do with this so they could very well be gaslighting you right you could be feeling like okay we're going to get somewhere we're going to go somewhere and this person could be just kind of avoiding the whole topic of conversation about commitment altogether or about getting back together if for those of you that are broken up. Some of you could be going through legal issues with that justice card, okay? Um, disputes, like I said, divorce, separation. Um, We have a runner here, ghosting, avoiding, non-committal, a fear of settling down. And then I'm seeing a love trap here. It says genuinely knows this love is not good, but continues anyways. Now, that might be for some of you that have a very karmic connection with each other where there's a lot of toxic cycles. But I also see this energy here, especially with the person who's a runner here with the love trap. There's a heart right in the middle of this trap. So some of you, this person could be having these secret feelings or hidden thoughts and they're running away from you <coughs> because they're feeling they're going to get hurt. They might feel like this whole relationship or commitment is a trap, you know? And again, this goes into that toxic way of thinking about love and, you know, comparing, say, your connection to past connections um, I mean, some of you might even be dealing with the person who is divorced or who just got out of something that, you know, where they're just feeling like, I don't even know if I want another relationship right now. I don't know if I want the whole happily ever after family and living together and all that kind of stuff. In that case, I would say with this person, you know, be discerning take a look at what is happening here, especially if this person is someone who is only thinking about themselves and you can kind of tell that they're not taking your feelings into consideration and they continue to gaslight you, okay? Especially with the time, like how long has you been dealing with this person in this situation? Do they continue to avoid and run and things never progress and things are never feeling grounded and secure for you? Then I feel like you would need to really kind of also protect yourself in this situation in that you don't continue to invest into something where a person is not willing to align with what your desires are. If there's someone who is not open to it, it, you know, I, I feel like you should seriously consider, is it worth it for me to continue to invest my time and energy here? Okay. Cause they could think about having a future with you all day long, but what are they doing about it? It's nice, right, to think, but where's the action? And that's what you need is action. 
And if they're not doing it, then you need to, you also need to put yourself first, pile three. Okay. So someone needed to hear that. All right. So now let's go into these messages here. All right. What are those secret feelings and hidden thoughts about you? Pile three. Okay. We have, I will prove that you can trust me. I wish I could give you more. I want to reach out and hear your voice. We are perfect for each other. I see things clear now and I know that I love you. We have, I will never let you go. I'm completely in love with you. You inspire me to do better. And we also have, I will never forget the first time I saw you. At the bottom of the deck, we have hurting you just hurts me even more. Forgive me. I love the way you treat me. And I saw my unborn children in your eyes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then I'm also seeing the hard lessons will only bring us closer. Okay. And I feel like this is important for those of you that are self-aware of the cycles that you have been in, maybe with this person, and you're actively taking steps towards working together to change those so that you're not reverting back into old patterns of behavior. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this reading here for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.